Okay, continuing on in our ornament series, we're going to be doing a stack text and repeating background ornament. This is multiple pieces. It's got a back, it's got a middle, and it's also got a cowboy's cutout in there. We're going to go to our art library that we set up uh, previously. If you'd like to see a video on your art library, you can click the little tag that's up here. We're going to select the ornament that we set up. Uh, and if you'd like to see our initial ornament video, you can click this tag and that'll take you to that video. So the way this ornament is set up currently, it is just a border. This is just the border piece and cutout of this. So I wanna make the background portion with the repeating whatever we're gonna put in there. How we do that is we're gonna take the inside of that border, if I can select it, and I want to offset this by an eighth of an inch there. Yeah, that looks good. And then that inside we can delete completely. And now we can get whatever repeating background we want and set that up. For this example, we're gonna be utilizing Steamboat, the bucking horse rider from the University of Wyoming. And we'll make him small enough to where he just looks good. I am going to engrave him so I want him as red. And then I'm gonna use my array feature and make as many columns as I can to cover the ornament. And then rows, uh, let's see, shift by half here. This will give you an alternating, you can see how it's alternating back and forth. If we don't do shift by half, they'll all be straight in a line. So I like the alternating. Uh, I think the spacing is good, but if you wanted these guys to be closer together, your Y spacing here, you can make it further apart, closer together. And then your X spacing as well, you can do that uh, further apart whoops, and then closer together. But I like the spacing where it's a little more spread out. And that will cover our ornament, so I'm okay with that. I already have those guys selected. I'm gonna select our inside circle, uh, center it, just so it's centered on there. And then with those two selected, this bottom Boolean down here, this intersect, I'm gonna click on that. What this is doing is this allows us to cut out everything in excess of that circle that we created and that circle that we created is in between the inside and the outside of that border so when we cut this out halfway through here these guys on the background are going so that we don't have if there's a mistake or it looks weird or it doesn't end properly which has never been an issue but that border will cover it so now if we look at a preview here we can see that all the steamboats are going to be engraved if you wanted everything or this to be inverted, we can create a circle here, holding down shift. Let's get this, no, get this centered on these guys here. And then selecting the circle, holding down control, and I'm pulling out just far enough to where it's right beyond the steamboats, but it's still within that perimeter. Hey, I wanted to talk to you for a second about Amazon business. It's the same as regular Amazon, but it's the business side. You get analytics. Uh, if you have multiple people in your shop, you can see spending habits and trends, all that good stuff. One man shop here, so a lot of that doesn't matter to me. But I hooked it up to my regular Amazon, so I get the prime shipping. I don't get two day shipping where I am in Wyoming, but maybe you get uh, same day shipping where you are in, in a bigger city or, or wherever. Uh, prices are a little bit better than regular Amazon too. Not by a ton, but every penny counts when you are running a small business. May or may not be right for you, but there's a link in the description below. Check it out, see if it'll work for you. Now, if we hold that and then preview now, everything except for the steamboats is being engraved. So it's up to you, your preference, the way that you wanna do that. Uh, I prefer the actual items to be engraved, especially in this instance where it just looks better. Now that we have the background repeating array completed, we wanna add the text that we want over that. So I want my cowboys in there. So I'm gonna select my text and then I'm gonna select the steamboat repeating background, center that cowboys in there. And then I'm gonna take my text and I'm going to hold down control and I'm gonna make it smaller uh, so that it fits within the border. Now remember we have a quarter inch border around this ornament and I don't want the text that I'm gonna be cutting out to interfere with that. One way to make sure that that won't happen is I can take the pre-made ornament that we have 
it's control G to make sure that that's grouped together. And then I can place that over the other ornament. And you can see that overlap where our background is going to go into essentially, or underneath that collar uh, around or the border around the ornament. So looking down here, this looks really good. And we'll color this black just so we can see it. All right, and I'm gonna take this ornament and I'm gonna delete that. And now I want to control D. So I'm gonna duplicate this cause I'm gonna cut out this Cowboys. This guy though, I want to offset. And I wanna offset just enough to where it makes the lettering stand out from the background. And I think that'll be pretty good. About a 16th of an inch there. Let's see here. So if I select the, you know what? I want it bigger than that. Let's do, I think that looks good. Now right here, you can leave this like this if you want, but if you come in really close, you can see the inside where the C and the O, this is going to be not engraved. There was one other spot in here too. I believe it's this guy right here. So that's not gonna be engraved as well. So what we can do is control U to ungroup this and then select those parts and pieces just to delete that. But if you look at this, this is really messy. So let's clean this up. I wanna select the offset from the Cowboys lettering that we have. And I also wanna select the steamboats in the background. And I wanna combine all of those so that it all gets engraved. I don't want the Cowboys itself engraved, but I want the offset and then I want the uh, steamboat to be engraved. This uh, Boolean union will take the background and the offset and combine those two. So if we click click that, you can see over here that steamboat is protruding from the offset. And to make the cowboys not get engraved, I'm gonna color those red. So if you look at that now, we have our cowboys not being engraved, we have our cowboys being cut out. All of this is combined together. So when I throw the blank back into the laser, it will engrave all of these parts together. The Cowboys I'm gonna cut out of eighth inch materials so it differentiates itself from the rest of the ornament. Also gonna color that. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you and I appreciate you taking the time to watch it. If you got anything out of this, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, uh, maybe leaving a like or even sharing the video. And hey, if you have tips or tricks or anything that I maybe have missed, leave a comment below. Uh, We'll catch you on the next one.